I could fall in love again. I could do it all over again. But what does that matter? What does that matter when I love her? My face cold and pale, I levitate above my bed to feel the empty space around me. Why do I always see you when I'm ill? I close my eyes and I feel the faint warmth of your body like fever. I have met strangers sat on fences and they claim to love me but I just blew them away with the smoke for my cigarette. I ran away into the shower and it sang to me and then laughed at me as it took away the water and I joined in because there's not much else you can do when a shower head is mocking you in your nakedness. I am water. As I wash my hair it drips down and I become soluble in the room which is all dripping. The mirrors crash to the ground like sea waves hitting sandy bays. You left me. You left me standing at, in a tangle of long grass so far away and small I will become a simple strand of grass blowing in the wind. As it rushes by the fields like thin glass mirrors of green I blend into insignificance. I step out of the shower, towel curb and hair drying my body Pull on my underwear, prepare my mind for another day at work. Button up a clean shirt, slide on a floor strewn skirt. A quick slick of makeup, blast at the hairdryer, a few bites of toast, and I'm out the door like everything is okay. I make my way through a web of trains. Like salmon, I swim through a crowd of bodies all sweltering in their outdoor coats. Jump on the circle line at Westminster for a couple of stops the space where I can breathe. In my periphery, I see a woman with hair as dark as yours. It cups her face in that same smooth curve around her chin. I take a deep breath in as I check, inspect your face. God is playing some sick joke. She's you, wearing a mask like a Halloween costume. I want to whisper, Sarah, Sarah, take that mask off, you're being cruel. But I realise, I recognise nothing in her eyes. I tell myself to face the fact you are gone, never coming back. But she's a person. She's got a face and eyes and skin and a heart and a head and a smile. I dream, remember. The smell of her hair, always the touch of her body, always warmer than my own the way our eyes would meet and it would feel like home. Flash, flicker, neon letters speak out the next station is Victoria. We would ride our bikes on weekends, tire ourselves going through Thorndon Park, went so fast it was like we were flying. Ended up facing the clouds, I'd turn on my side to see you squinting up at the sky, scrunching your nose as you spoke to me until sunset. You made me laugh so much, my stomach hurt. So strange how you made the darkest thoughts seem comic. Sometimes we'd stay out so late, we'd be left staring at the stars, not even hungry, feeling so far away. Flash, flicker, neon letters speak out, the next station is South Kensington. The carriage slows to a halt. I think it's all my fault. I've stopped across from an advert for a bottle of blue WKD. Makes me want to be sick. Makes me think. About the other day, I got asked to dance by a faceless stranger as the ground glittered with broken glass and I pretended things were the same, said, thanks, I'm with someone. One girl wanted to get all Katy Perry on me, bit on her red lipstick, so I all seductive like told her, sorry, not my type. <laughs> a boy who wants to fly in the air and drop bombs on our planet Judge me by the flowered pattern on my dress I hate to say he had me down to a T You I thought you were the only one who really knew me He said he'd been rowing down the Thames that day I didn't know what else to say My mind was sinking in a drunken haze Another bloke was looking over Got his mate to ask if I was a lesbian, told him he should ask if he was so bloody interested. Didn't want to give him the satisfaction. 
I'm not trying to make you jealous, I'm just trying to make you come back. These people I talk to out of politeness, and every second between each word that they say, that space, when they gulp some air, I think of you. I still vomit into dustbins, blame it on the leather car seats and the taxis, yet I'm the one with the proper job now, pretending to be a grown-up. How is that fair? When the monotony of tubes and train lines, phone calls and deadlines is over, I've got to get through another weekend with you gone. Friends will want to see me, see how I am, and how can I think up an excuse without you? There are some memories it is easy to pass by, 